five digit quotations. So now we've got a new uh, system in the Forex market has been around for a couple of years now. Um, the precision of price quotations is getting better and now most brokers actually supply uh, quotations in five uh, in a five digit mode. So here uh, that quotation we were talking about for Australian um, British pound Australian dollar 1.8866 now is actually more precise and it's 1.88663. Um, so now the change, the minimum change this currency pair can experience is actually 0 0.0001. So uh, 10 to the power of negative 5. Um, now let's uh, understand how the definitions of uh, pips and um, points have changed in this particular um, case when the five digits have uh, system has been introduced. So the minimum change is still called one point. Minimum change is always called one point. Now the value on the right, 0 0.00001, has been labeled with the name pipette. Once again, let's keep these things separate. One point is the minimum change and one pipette is always equal to 0 0.00001. Uh, in this case, it just so happens uh, that the minimum change is equal to 0 0.00001 and that means one point is equal to one pipette and that's always the case for five uh, digit price quotations. And so once again, let's calculate the spread. Uh, here I've uh, shown our previous example but I've added um, uh, the fifth digit uh, as a, a smaller number and a lot of brokers do that just to show that it is five digit quotations because when you have five digits after the decimal point it can be uh, it can get a bit confusing and like a lot of numbers so here it's uh, it highlights to you that um, these are in fact pipettes on the end of the um, currency quotations so the uh, the difference of the ask and bid price in this case is 0 0.00065 units of the quoted currency which is Australian dollar and um, that equals to 65 points. So let's remember that even in the five digit quotation system a point is the minimum change that the currency pair can experience. In this case the minimum change is 0 0.00001 and um, if you multiply that by 65 then you will get uh, your spread so the spread is 65 points on the other hand the spread is approximately seven pips you can say six and a half pips you can say seven pips doesn't really matter um, it's approximately seven pips because a pip is still 0 0.0001 just as it was in the four digit system it's it's not going to change because we change the system that we're quoting the currency in. A pip is fixed, the pipette is fixed. So um, this spread is approximately seven pips and that is, um, you can also say that this spread is 65 pipettes. Um, I would advise you not to use the word pipettes because not many people understand you. Like I, I never use it, nobody ever uses it. It's a, um, it's a very kind of new term or very very low use term it, and just sounds funny <laughs> to be honest so um, just stick with points and pips um, so just to sum up we've got the four digit system and the five digit system an example is uh, the British pound Australian dollar uh, quotation that we looked at 1.8866 in the four digits 1.88663 in the five digits um, one point in the four digit one point is always the minimum change in the four digits system it's 0 0.0001 in the five digit system it's 0 0.0001 uh, a, a pip never uh, changes a pip uh, is always fixed uh, regardless of the uh, quotation system and uh, it equals to 0 0.0001 and a pipette uh, there's no such a thing in the four digit system in, in the five digit system there because there's enough precision you can uh, talk about pipettes and it's 0 0.0001 However, I do advise not to use this term because it's not uh, frequently used. So you will notice that some traders out there get this mixed up and actually some uh, respectable traders can get this mixed up because this is terminology and uh, it of course depends on um, uh, the uh, 
uh, conventions and uh, like the people, well, how people agree to talk to each other and co uh, use these things. But uh, most traders uh, will use this system. So if you come across a forum where um, perhaps even everybody uses them wrong and, and confuses pip and point or something like that, uh, well, then you either have to re-educate those people or adjust to their kind of style. But just keep in mind that majority of traders around the world will talk about these things in exactly this way and before we finish up a quick note on Japanese um, currency pairs as promised so if a currency pair uh, is quoted in Japanese yen uh, meaning that the Japanese yen is on the right um, you will see that uh, everything is shifted by approximately or exactly 100 so uh, there's not in the four digit system there's not four digits but two digits after the decimal point in the five digits there's only three digits so all uh, everything else stays uh, exactly the same just multiply everything by 100 and that's just been associated with uh, the way the Japanese yen has historically been priced uh, for instance right now one American dollar can buy you uh, 118 um, Japanese yen